Well, it looks like WWE are going to delete, as Matt Hardy would say it, TNA. So, more rumors, more rumors. We've had these rumors going on, I reckon, when I first got into wrestling, we've had rumors since then that WWE are going to buy out TNA. But, WWE didn't really ever feel necessary like they had to. TNA only racked in like 200,000 viewers a week, I think, and they were they were getting worse and worse and worse and worse until recently, where they started to pick up a bit. They averaged about 300,000 viewers, I'm pretty sure, when I checked the ratings. I was the last time I checked the ratings. They could be up to 500,000 for all I know, and that might be but B why WWE is going in for a bit. So basically, there's TNA. Well. There's WWE, obviously. TNA. TNA. <laughs> Some people will argue that New Japan is better than TNA, which I agree with, and that Ring of Honor is better than TNA. But WWE have already snagged their talent. They've snagged AJ Styles, Shinsuke Nakamura, Gallows and Anderson, and they're still like getting bits of talent in. Also, another reason that WWE you know, going off to TNA, TJ Perkins, who just won the Cruiserweight Classic, he was Suicide, I believe. Suicide had many, many names in uh, uh, in uh, TNA. So there's a bunch of TNA talent over in WWE nowadays as well. AJ Styles, as I mentioned, Mr. TNA. Uh, there's Samoa Joe, Bobby Roode, James Storm went to WWE for a little bit, uh, had a few matches. There's Austin Aries. Uh, there's, there's way more, uh, and also there's talent that started off in WWE, but went over to TNA, such as Kurt Angle, Jeff Hardy, Matt Hardy, uh, Drew Galloway, many, many names, Hulk Hogan was there for a while, obviously Jeff Jarrett, uh, Boy Ray, Devon, uh, so yeah, uh, Christian as well, EC3, EC3. WWE was so stupid to let him go, I swear, like, he's a talent, and they let him go. There's also, uh, I think there's some knockouts, as they call them, or women. Uh, Gail Kim is the first that comes to mind, I'm not sure if there are any others. But yeah, so apparently Vince has put in a bid and trying to buy TNA, and this sounds like the realest of these rumors we're ever going to get. Obviously we've had rumors that WWE are buying TNA for years, but now it looks truer than ever. AJ Styles is the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Samoa Joe, or no, Samoa Joe just recently lost the NXT Championship, they, uh, TJ Perkins won the Cruiserweight Classic, uh, and the amount of talent they've been bringing in, like Bobby Roode, uh, Austin Aries, so, it just looks like it's going to happen. WWE this year, I reckon they've had a fantastic year. Just like 2015, fantastic year for the wrestling. So, wrestling storylines. So, here's the lowest of the low. Storylines is probably about there. But the wrestling's at the top. Because the wrestling in WWE and around the world has been fantastic. So, it just looks truer than ever, if you get what I mean. Uh, so, that's basically my take. Uh, if WWE buy TNA, they'll probably take a few of their stars like Matt Hardy, Jeff Hardy, EC3, Drew Galloway. Uh, I mean, the one part about this, but it's only one person that I don't think is really makes it real, is Aaron Rex or Damian Sandow. But that doesn't matter. Um, obviously then, Alberto Del Rio, if he was going to go to TNA, he would have to go to, uh, like Ring of Honor or something, or Lucha Underground. Uh, so yeah, pretty fancy, if I do say so myself. So obviously if you know a fair bit about wrestling, you're going to be like, oh, well, you're only talking about the upside, you're not talking about, you know, what, what happened with W. WCW, for example. Now, I know a lot of WCW talent went on to have, have great careers, but a lot of the talent just, you know, didn't get used. Mm -hmm. And the invasion angle. Oh. Now, 
personally, WWE, I wouldn't mind if they didn't redo, nowhere near redo, but do something like the Invasion Angle with uh, TNA. Now, I could go all Adam Blanc PA on you and make a video soon being like how WWE should book the TNA Invasion. That would be pretty funky, but I'm not sure if they're going to do it like that. It... I'm... If, if, if the rumors are true, if the rumors are true that WWE is trying to buy out TNA, I'd say they'd only take a few of their talent and not all of it, like they attempted to do with WCW. Now, obviously, they'd be taking Matt Hardy, Jeff Hardy, uh, of course, we got EC3 for Galloway, people like that. They'd be taking them, and personally, what I would do is, uh, have, say they brought in eight or ten, they put five on SmackDown, five on Raw, this is what I think they do, and they'd have them slowly come in, come in and invade, or have the ten of them, or eight of them together, and just show up, show up on different shows, probably Raw, and just interfere and do all that, like, kind of like Gallows and Anderson. I'm not sure how that would book it, honestly. I'm probably going to have to, you know, think about it in my head. But obviously, uh, since they've got so much TNA talent now, WWE, they're probably looking to uh, get the uh, TNA library, which is, you know, every TNA event, onto the WWE network. Because a lot of talent have, e have either worked for, been with, uh, or, you know, wrestled for WWE. So, yeah. Basically, TNA kind of already is WWE's, the wrestling world it kind of is WWE's, but obviously there's people like the Young Bucks, uh, Jay Lethal, uh, who else is there, Adam Cole, Kenny Omega, the list could go on forever. So yeah, the Cruiserweights are arriving on Raw next week. Anyway, I just wanted to put in my opinion. Uh, I believe it would be fantastic since I used to watch TNA and WWE religiously. I used to like TNA and it was honestly pretty bad, but I liked TNA uh, back in the day when TNA was decent. I kind of stopped watching after Aces and Eights or halfway through Aces and Eights. That's when I stopped watching because... Uh, uh. Anyway... I just wanted to chuck in my two cents since I like doing that. I'm going to go and do some more videos today and hopefully get them out for the school holidays because I didn't do anything on YouTube last week. Anyway, I'm a Kenyan. Until next time, peace. I'm going to go and edit this video, man. <laughs>